excuse the hair, I'm still not ready yet, but today is a monumental day for me because the, I made these window covers uh, when I first started car camping and they're made out of a uh, Gorilla Tape on the front so they're dark and Reflectix on the back. I hung them out for months. They're super heavy and they never lost that Gorilla Tape smell. It's a great day to say goodbye to these things. They're so heavy and bulky and they just take up so much space. I just got a good window tint and today, no window covers. I'm just gonna use my window tint. I really don't think anyone's gonna go by and like stare in the car. And even if they did, it's gonna be pretty dark. So I say that now, but if I do wake up to somebody looking at me through the window, I don't think I ever wanna go car camping again. Unfortunately, guys, I still have not come up with a solution to fix this sort of gap, which makes sleeping here a little uncomfortable. I'm thinking I might have to get like a little bit of wood and just put it right there and just put it over the top of this. Um, that would get rid of a lot of space though and make my car exceptionally heavy. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know. Um, it's a considerable little gap there. And if you can see what I'm talking about here, the bed, and it goes up like this, so I'm like slouched like at an angle. And that's the most uncomfortable part. So I'm gonna try to find something to put, like maybe just like some, like a blanket for right now. So I picked these up, headrest hooks, and I don't know if this is just a gimmick or not. These were like three bucks. So I'm gonna try to hook these here and I make, maybe like put like my hydro flask or uh, hang a jacket up here. Let's check this out. All right, they actually look pretty decent. Um, they feel pretty, pretty sturdy, not too bad. So I can put my hydro flask in here. Oh well, I don't think it fits. So I guess it'll have to be something else. I know. I put like my steam deck. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. That's not so bad because my bed goes right here so I could grab it. Oh, I'll install the other two on the other side. Hey, honestly, that, that's a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna be. They're, they're not, they feel pretty, pretty sturdy. By all means, purely a temporary fix, but I just kind of shoved a blanket in there for now because I don't think I'll be needing it tonight. I actually got a little upgrade for the car, which is this thermometer. 112 degrees today in the car. It is a windy day, but it is definitely still desert out here. And hopefully by tonight it can cool down. I wish I had more of a permanent setup so I wouldn't have to do this every time. That's a big drop off there big drop off. I've seen a lot of people live in their cars before, but living in a desert, I don't know how I'm going to do it because this is one of those things, don't, do not store in temperatures higher than 120 degrees. This is the butane that I use to cook. Let's check the car thermometer. 105 and it's 519 and I'm in the shade. When this car is in the noon, noon time in the sun, it can hit temperatures up to, I'm sure, like 180. Because don't forget, it's gonna be about 120 degrees out here soon. So that's just one of those things like, how am I gonna do this? I'm running a little bit late to work, but I had to run in for tonight because I had to get Jiffy Pop. Tonight is movie night, and it's pretty cool to have this whole set up in the back of the car and just to come in here and make some popcorn make some dinner so i go in today at six o'clock it is currently 5 32 and i work until two in the morning um today is the day i just essentially live in a cooler and just stock beer all night so i'm excited all right guys we got to go through tattooing real quick it's always interesting seeing this like little part this is one of the windiest places in the united states and hence why we have so many like wind farms and things like that. Just this little mountain pass, it's called the San Gorgonio Mountain. The cold temperature from the west, because I'm pretty close to the beach, about two hours, it mixes with the warm desert heat and it creates this amazing sort of wind. It's not too bad today, but uh, there's a little bit of sand going through. And that's why we have a massive windmill farm here in, in, in Palm Springs. Look at the sand dunes. Guys, I am honestly, I am so hyped to go camping tonight. It has been 
I think it's been over a month. My car, I'll show the video right now if you don't know. I was parked at work, I was in the cooler and somebody was like, Ian, oh my gosh, your car got hit. And I went outside and this truck, I guess, rammed into the back of it. It crushed it into the curb, which broke one of my axles. And they had to do like a whole alignment. And I ran the plate, my manager and I, we got the uh, the license plate and it turns out it was a fake license plate. They make license plates and they put them on cars that aren't registered, um, they're not insured. So Progressive was like, honestly, it was only 1300 bucks to fix. So it's not that big of a deal. I doubt we'll go after them, just pay the thousand deductible. So it was a thousand bucks. So I had to save up that money and uh, get my car fixed. But honestly, I'm just happy it's fixed. We're here, we're camping. I really can't ask for much more. Um, my budget is kind of shot this week. I know I got a comment who said, man, I, I can't wait to see what you're gonna make. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to make, honestly. I, I only have like 30 bucks for the rest of the week just because it was a thousand dollar deductible, man. And it just goes to show though, it's just a great thing to have insurance. I'm just happy I have full coverage. Um. Whoa! So I can't stay in uh, there's a bird in here. I know, it's, he's been in here all day. Have you seen the bird? All day. Oh, all really? Day long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> there's a bird in the back. <laughs> I guess I should open the door and try to get him out. All right, guys, first work break. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the bird situation. I didn't really record because it's like with an iPhone, I'm at work. But uh, no chicken tonight. We will be eating 7-Eleven leftovers. Um, I got, I think I managed to grab some expired food. So I have a pan. I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe grab some tin foil. I don't know. But no matter what, plan is popcorn movie, do a little gambling. And I'm a little scared of the casino because where I live, California, Palm Springs, there's a lot of Indian land. And this is on Indian land. So you definitely are not supposed to camp there. Um, I'm getting a little nervous as the night goes on. Um, I hope these tinted windows will honestly be enough, but I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of what it looks like at about 818. So here's the car. That's how it looks. And there's a lot of light here, so this is not an ideal situation, but you can't really see in. Um, it's very hard. With a naked eye, I can't really see in. I don't know what it looks like on film, but I don't think they'll be able to see. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm finally off work and this is obviously not the casino. I'm just uh, downtown in my city, but I wanted to actually cook here and just get out of the car for a bit because I really don't want to push my luck at the casino. So this is a uh, Italian job from um, 7-Eleven and I have this pan here. So like I said, guys, I kind of blew my budget for uh, this week's video. The car that hit me kind of really did me in. So I had to just get some expired food from uh, from work. So no really exciting cooking today, but I do have that Jiffy Pop and I've never made Jiffy Pop before. So honestly, that seems pretty exciting, but I guess I'm just gonna try to wrap this up like this. I've actually like fallen in love with tin foil ever since I started camping. And I guess it's just ready to heat up.
you know guys in your gut feeling if you feel unsafe or you feel like something's off um definitely follow your instinct and leave the spot so unfortunately i'm going to be leaving this spot if you could see that guy i'm not sure if you'll be able to um he just kept staring at me and uh when he saw my camera he looped back around and just sort of sort of was coming back to me so I, if i ever feel uncomfortable in a situation just leave well there goes the stealth and that's why this is not going to be my camp spot for the night so i am just going to make this here i'm gonna have to move my bed and i'm not gonna get out of my car here because this is kind of a crazy area at night i guess so let's get this thing going oh i have to go up to the front haha -ha. Always keep everything within arm's reach, I guess. And as always, guys, if you are cooking with butane in a car, always remember to uh, crack a window, so that's what I'm gonna do right now, actually. And my alarm went off. Oh my God. That gave me a freaking little mini heart attack. This is just not going according to plan at all. <laughs> I am the, I am like the biggest noob when it comes to stealth camp. Oh my gosh. That's really embarrassing, guys. And in another embarrassing thing, when I left in such a hurry, I must have left the lighter on the hood of my car, the trunk of the car, and it's now gone. But always bring a spare. Ha ha. Now we're cooking. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that bad boy warmed up here. Shame I didn't have something to, like, keep this kind of level. Like, uh, ah, beautiful. All right, this security guard looks like he's looking at me, but I don't think so. I think we'll be okay here. I'm going to go ahead and crack those windows. And while this is cooking, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a bit. So for anybody new to the channel, my name's Ian. I'm 28 years old. I'm about to be 29 soon. And I work at 7-Eleven. Um, a couple years ago, in 2020, I was actually about to graduate with my associate's degree and um, go from there. Turns out the counselor kind of made a mistake and that sort of like set me on a path of like, oh, forget it. It's not meant to be. If you're wondering what the purpose of this channel is, it is to eventually live in a car full time. And this is my way to escape and just try to... Uh, try to escape Palm Springs, Desert Hot Springs, and like working at 7-Eleven. And this is really like my last hurrah to like give YouTube like a final push. Because I told myself, if I turn 29 and I'm still getting like 10 views a video, it's time for me to give up, put the dream away, and um, pursue like a like a real job, you know, and like go back to school and suck it up and just face my, my worst fear, you know, which is just like working in an office somewhere, I guess. Okay guys, I'm not holding out much hope for this. Without a lid and not really too much heat, I don't know how good this will look, but... Oh, the cheese got pretty... It got a little melty. It got good. Alright, it's not that bad. Hey, it's a 7-Eleven sandwich. Oh, the bottom's like crispy, hot, hot, hot. Oh yeah. Welcome back everyone. We have arrived at the Agua Caliente Casino. There she is in all of her glory. That is the whole casino right there. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to park right there at the first floor. And I'm going to try to be as stealth as possible. I am going to go play in the casino for a second. Just so I'm not abusing their parking space. I can say I was actually a customer. Oh, this is pretty exciting. This is the most nervous I've ever been, guys. Oh. 
Look at these views from the car. This is really freaking cool, guys. Oh my gosh. I've got a spot. There's the entrance over there. I've got a spot at the very end of the parking lot. I'm not sure if that's too smart or if it just looks like I'm trying to hide something, but I think this should be good. All right, guys, uh, no recording is allowed, but I just want to show you where the car is. It's right over there in the corner. Looks pretty good, looks pretty uh, stealth, if you ask me. I really like this about casinos now. They're all smoke free. I really, uh, I'm really balling out today, guys. I got $10. That might have been the fastest time ever spent in a casino. Oh, hey, man. Hey, how you doing? This is just uh, 60 cents. I'm done playing if you want to add it. Cool. Let's see if it works. Cool, man. Alright guys, that was honestly, that was pretty funny. I really just lost $10 in less than two minutes. I think that was like a minute and 20 seconds maybe? Or a minute and 30 at the most? So, it's time. I'm beat. It's time to go get some rest. And uh, try to camp undercover in this parking lot. I'm just gonna go and check out these stairs real quick and see uh, see if I can get some nice views from here. See what, see what we're looking at. I probably should have just parked up here, actually. Look at how peaceful it is up here. Okay guys, so this is my first time ever making this. Um, this is, of course, the Jiffy Pop, and I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. Okay, so we put the flame on medium, and then we put the popcorn on here, and then I guess we go from there until we hear a sizzle and then we start to shake. I don't know if that's the sizzle of, oh! This seems incredibly dangerous to do in a car. Guys, I just want to say, hey, don't do what I do. Oh my God, all the shaking has destroyed the camera. Hold on guys, I will save you. Ah! Oh no. Oh no! Ah! Okay. Oh, this popcorn smells burnt! <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Oh my god. Oh, but if this turns out great, this is gonna be the best story of all time. Oh, my arm's getting tired, guys. I've never made Jiffy Pop before. This honestly has me really nervous. Maybe I'm shaking it too much too early. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! Is it supposed to be steaming like this? It looks like I'm hotboxing in here. Oh, shit, there's like a bunch of people coming. Hold on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh! Oh, the popcorn, it's popping everywhere! No! All over my bed! No! Chill, 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 chill! Oh my gosh. Guys, this is the worst popcorn. This is the, oh! Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh my, go oh gosh, I don't know where to put it. It's popping everywhere, I can't stop it. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, there's kernels everywhere. I hate you, Jiffy Pop. Oh, I hate the person who made it. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, this is gonna be some cleanup. Ow, it burns too. Oh, my bed, I gotta wash it. All right, guys, I will be back in a second. So I'm gonna pick a show, try to get some rest, and um, call it a night, and hopefully this can be a successful camp. It's a little hotter than I thought. It's like 70 degrees, and I forgot my shorts. Um, but hopefully that stuff changes when I actually kind of like move into my car because I'm going to move into my car part time very soon. Um, probably didn't pick the best, the best season to do that living in the desert. But so anyway, pretty enjoyable night. Food was eh, but uh, the casino was kind of fun that whole minute and 40 seconds. And the popcorn thing was funny. I'm laughing at it now, but I'm, I'm going to find little kernels all over my car forever. So I'm going to watch some Star Wars and go to bed, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching, man. I appreciate it. And uh, it's so fun making these. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe uh, for some more videos. I'm going to post these every single Thursday. I also have a new series coming out, which is just going to be like some hiking and car stuff in general. And then I also want to have a series of me building out this car. So hopefully you guys stick around for more if you liked it. And I thank you. After fleeing the scene of the crime, Bane hunted down and captured Master Bolera Ball, who has a crystal which holds secrets of the Jedi Order. Hey guys, what is up? Look at my hair. I swear I get some of the best sleep in this vehicle. I don't know what it is, but it's just so relaxing. Um, I had a beautiful night's rest. Nobody came to bother me. The parking lot is closed. 10 out of 10, highly recommend a casino for stealth camping. Um, I guess they're just so worried about security and, and issues like that. They didn't even check or do rounds in the parking lot for some reason. Beautiful, perfect stealth camp, except for the popcorn, to be completely honest. Look at that morning. My only regret, woo, being that I didn't camp up here. absolute gorgeous morning everybody i am going home right now i can't wait until i have a more permanent setup and things go a lot smoother thank you everybody for watching i really appreciate it guys this was definitely a fun one to film won't be forgetting this one for quite a while and uh, i will see you guys next week thank you everybody for supporting and yeah thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, let me know uh, in the comment section if you made it this far. Leave a comment that includes the word ring donut. And uh, try to be stealthy about it so people don't know. And where should I go next? I was thinking about stealth camping at the airport. But if you have any ideas, let me know. Because of course I have a couple. And the airport I'm a little scared of doing because that's super high security. And uh, that one kind of terrifies me. But I'm pretty sure that's what we'll be doing next week. So peace and buckrease. Thank you for watching.